Here we are again. It's me, Tom Owens, from the Tom Owens Show right here in Visalia, California. Guy, today, today I have a special show for you guys. This is episode seven. I got my good friend Scotty McDonald here. How you doing, my brother? Pretty good, brother. Good. Boom, boom. And this is Kane. Kane, what's your last name? Anthony. Kane Anthony. Thank you for coming on the show and joining me today, man. I really appreciate it. Guys, we're living in a time in our world right now. It seems like we're living in a time of unrest and what I'm seeing with my own eyes is that people are more than ever are stressed out they're depressed they're angry with society they're in a hurry and everybody is in this tech technology state of mind and everybody's hooked on social media and they're always on their phone and the computer and the laptops and we're losing contact with real things in life Scotty I came to your house today because I'm always looking for a hobby to do because uh, me too, I get stressed out and depressed with work. And I've had doctors that have tried to like line me up with Xanax and different pharmaceutical drugs for depression, but I don't want to mess with those things. I'd like to have a nice hobbies on the side, like the jujitsu. I want to have hobbies that I can do that are healthy for the mind. Talk a little bit about uh, archery and what you and Kane do with these things. Well, <clears throat> this is all the Xanax that you need, brother. This is uh, a really good, relaxing beneficial hobby that you could spend hours at a time honing your skills on the, the bow. It's a compound bow which takes quite a bit of skill to master. <clears throat> Kane has a, uh, a mini crossbow which this will take you a couple of shots to be real good at that because it has the sights of a, um, of a rifle. Yes. And of course the, uh, <clears throat> the recurve crossbow right there, it goes about 300 foot per sec. Per, uh, 300 foot per second. What is the pound pull on something like that's this? That's 175 pound right there. 175 so, pound pull. What is a normal bow and arrow? Well, a normal bow and arrow is like 40 to 70. This so these are 70. quite a bit stronger. Oh yeah, quite a bit. And stronger that. And more what active. is this bow called? <clears throat> this is a compound bow. It's a compound 70 pound. bow, yeah. and that's a 70 pound pull right there. Yes, yes. So out of these, all three of these, what is your favorite? Um, you like them all? I like them all. I. You can't go wrong with the crossbow because it's hard to miss a target with the crossbows because, uh -huh. like I said, it has sights, has iron sights as well as scopes. And uh, these, got these tar targets, it looks like you're hitting the uh, target pretty good here. <laughs> yes, yes, yes. Uh, we got the pig target, we got the turkey target, we got the head, and we got the torso. Now they're Let's accurate. Um, I was watching you and Kane the other day shoot out here in Kane. Uh, Kane Anthony, that's right. Kane, how long have you been shooting? Uh, or doing archery with these crossbows and bow and arrows with Scotty? Maybe a year or two. A year or two? And tell me a little bit about it. What do you get out of it? Pretty much, I like, I don't like being in the house all day like that. I kind of like just shooting and being outside more and finding bugs, finding snakes and all that. Finding bugs and finding snakes? That's so cool, man. I don't think there's too many kids that are out there doing that unless 
unless they have the right type of uh, mentors. That is cool. I also saw you had a bearded dragon you brought out. That thing was pretty cool. What was his name? Um, his name is El Chapo. El Chapo the Beardy. I love it. Man, so Scotty, this we're here in Scotty's front yard right here, and you obviously have a you're in a cool neighborhood with cool neighbors because yeah. they don't trip on you having something like this in the front yard. It's it's in the front yard, this target setup, but it's not like wide in the open. But you can see it. This is so cool right here, man. Talk, talk a little bit about this and what you got set up right here, dude. Well, we, we do have a fence right there, and we do have a lot of foliage. And, and as you can see, I get put one of our wrestling mats out here to uh, keep the stray arrows from going into their yard there. Got a, uh, a mat that we don't use out here. But um, yeah, we got really good neighbors. We actually have a higher patrolman that lives a couple of, couple of houses down. And uh, nobody complains about it. A highway it patrolman, how does he, what does he think about this kind of stuff? You ever talk waves. to him about it? He just waves. He doesn't say anything about it. He can you tell know? you guys are doing something cool and healthy. Yeah, yeah. You, you, you really can't. It's legal to do this at your house. You know what I mean? Especially since I'm a weapons expert. Uh -huh. It's nice. It's safe. As you can see, you got a backboard right there. And we have plenty of foliage behind this these targets set up to uh, stop any arrows that might go straight. But uh, me and Kane, we... I don't think there's one time that we went past the the, um, the target setup right there. We usually aim in pretty good and hit what we're what we're um, aiming at. Yeah, you and you have multiple targets right there. Oh yeah. Now Scott, when I man, I'm 48 years old, and I've seen it. And this generation that I'm living in, I've seen people go through a lot of different stages, from when I was young till now, and I've really seen in these last 10 years a huge uh, change in mental state at people at my work. I work at Costco Wholesale. Now, I've worked at Costco for about 25 years, and for about 20 of those years, it seemed like people were always happy and happy to have that job there, and, and even happy to be at work most of the time. But uh, now what I see, man, it just seems like every day, even the managers and the supervisors, you'll go, hey, how's it going? And the, their common response I get is, well, I'm here. You know what I mean? Nobody's happy anymore, it seems like. Everybody's right. just upset, man. What do yeah. you think about that? Right. It's pretty horrible. It's um, What is the cause of that, dude? I know. Well, it's, you know, gas is high, uh, uh, food is really high, the, the schools are really crappy, um, people are really unfriendly to each other nowadays. Super and, unfriendly and, to and each other. Like on Facebook, uh -huh. um, talk about it, dude. Tell like, me. You always get like in fights with people. Like yeah. someone, it some one little tiny message can do a whole blow up. And, and you know what's changed about these mentality of the fighting on the internet is people have gotten this bravery with these with and so quick and easy to fight with another person and respond with negative stuff because they're not face to face like me and you are now because it's going to be less likely that I'm gonna say some of these things to you in person that I see people talk, saying, like just like he's talking yes, about. He's right on. But online, the guy, there's no telling where the dude's at, so you'll say anything, man. You'll say the nastiest, most right. harsh things to a person, but face-to-face, -face you won't. That's definitely got a part in it. But right. the prices, dude, of things, oh, man. I used to feel, man, I used to feel like I had a job that was with a great... Uh, with a great paycheck every couple of weeks, you know what I mean? Like, I felt like I was getting a... You know, super proud to be working there. Now I just don't feel the same, dude. The price, like you said, the price of gas, crazy. The prices of food, man. The price of everything has gone up. Yeah. You think that'll change in California? I, what do you, What do I you think, dude? Or is think it just that's going to be the I, new? I think that the uh, they talk about it in the Bible, in Revelations, uh, what is here now. You know, society's uh, downturn and turning away from God and whatnot, and wars and rumors of wars. Um, thought with uh, a new administration that they would steer away from that, but it seems like these politicians are dead set on getting us into a, a, a kinetic war with so many different um, countries now, and it's just sad. So I just stay close with my family. What do you mean by kinetic war? Kinetic, I mean objects firing at each other, uh, missiles uh, shooting each other with guns, kinetic. Kinetic, you, you said that the other day when I was here too. Kinetic, is that yeah, there's a term also for like a, a projectile? Um, something okay. that you could shoot and, and deliver pain. Or, or okay. 
at my dad's house, it's like 90 bucks for his whole tank. Dang. Yeah, fortunately, we have electric vehicle. I'm a retarded uh, electrician. Do you guys have an electric vehicle? Yeah, we have no? an electric vehicle. I actually hooked up the electric. Don't you think, man, this, this tech, it's going to get to a point, I feel, if we don't kill each the world first, that they're going to have, it's just going to be, I think there's an energy out there in this universe, in this world, that everything could be free with as far as like transportation to go, but we're not using it. Maybe we know about it or maybe we don't yet. Tesla. Tesla talked about that before. Um, before he yeah. died. He's I think he knew about it. He knew about it. And then Homeboy knows him. about it right now, Musk. Yeah. Right. Um, it's just the politicians are, are really The money that has money hungry, money. man. People are money hungry, money dude. Hungry. It's just really sad. I, I think that um, the days of America being great are over. That sucks, man. Deal. See, we have, um, as you can see, we have apples and we have pomegranates. We have um, apricots. You got a ton of food eggs. storage, bro. Yeah, we got. I got four years of, of food stored up for our family. I, I got a freeze dryer in there. We freeze dry chicken. We got chickens with eggs. We freeze dry eggs. We have like beans. We you freeze rice. dry the eggs? Yes. Yes. How do you and, I and scramble them? You and scramble them first. Them oh. season. Yeah, and then, then pack them up. Are they pretty good? Is it pretty oh, good? Yeah. We yes. freeze dry the tomatoes. And then how do you cook? It's already cooked, so when you break it out, it's got to add water to it. Or the kids like uh -huh. to eat a lot of the stuff just dry. Um, and we also, I also like um, the freeze dried yogurt because it turns into like this cotton candy. Oh, yeah. really? Yeah. yeah. I've never had that. So we, we got a lot of stuff saved up. And like I said, you know, we don't go anywhere. I'm not an alcohol. I don't like drink alcohol or or do anything don't smoke weed or none of that type, type of stuff so so um you told me one time that you'd like to have all your faculties all my faculties at all time i want to be able to if if i have to protect my family i want to be able to to grab uh, one of my bows or be 100 percent there or some of my rifles that i have and you know take care be of ready to go yeah that's awesome dude this is all awesome to me man scott and kane Man, you guys, I got my first lesson the other day. Both of you guys, I learned so much. I, man, I was so happy when I went home that day to have learned those things that I learned from you guys. You think we can, you guys can give me another lesson today with these? Oh, yes. Yeah. Yeah, yes. and but I want to see some shots, too. Yeah, Let's hear it. You got something to say? Say it, brother. That's what this is all about. This is your chance to talk and say anything you like. It'll be online. For, uh, maybe you'll think about it before we're done. But... Yeah, the podcast thing, I'm doing it for fun. This is not some kind of a quick money grab. Uh, I mean, it'd be cool if you if I made money on a podcast later, but I probably won't. But I get a great uh, deal out of it, just being able to talk to someone like you. being able, Talking with people face-to-face -face and live. Man, look at that beautiful I know. Man. He's chilling. Under, right? That's, That's like a fun. past loved one right there. Right? right? I okay. feel like that. Um, Let's hear probably it. Probably... We, everyone's making fun of like Scotty, Grandma, and all that because we're trying to save food, and they don't believe us that this is happening. But I bet you, when it does, then they're all gonna come here. They're not coming here. <laughs> they're not coming here. <laughs> but, no. they're gonna, but they're gonna try. If they're smart, the reason yeah. why I'm making this video is, uh, and I'm gonna keep doing videos like this, and hopefully it can be my help to anybody that uh, listens. I, I try to tell anybody I know. I think it's a good time to start preparing. Oh you know yeah, man! It's it's it was already a good time to prepare. We saw when COVID hit, how man it could have been so much worse so well, quick. I seen what how people were acting at Costco when they were coming in. Oh yeah. During those days, and yeah. dude, it was like wild animals, man. They were oh, yeah. so rude yeah. and so just yeah, rude. Just, and, oh man, now. I can see it gets so much worse. Right. Anyhow, let's set this uh, camera up and let's get a lesson and see some of the shooting. You got it. Yeah. Let's do this. Awesome. Good job, gentlemen. Okay. Uh, you got that mini crossbow? Yes. Is there a specific name for that? It's just like a mini crossbow. It's an 80 pound, it's got an 80 pound um, pull to it. So it's, it's pretty effective. I mean, you could definitely kill a, a pig or a turkey from this distance. Yeah, if I needed to hunt with something like that, how, how good would it be? It'd if be I good. had practice with it, knew what I was doing. It, be very reliable because um, the reason it would be reliable is it has these type of projectiles that come out and um, they pretty much when you shoot that into an animal it's hard to return. Dang dude that is gnarly it man. Like a shark all dude of that is so gnarly even if it didn't hit like a main organ it seems like you would bleed out. Oh yeah. 
if right? you're a human being and you get hit with something like that, uh, they definitely make your funeral arrangements. Some are and it seems like, like uh, it seems like the person, if they didn't know any better, like a dude, you know, breaking into your house or whatever and you had to use it, or in another situation, somebody would get shot by this and they wouldn't know any better and they'd want to pull it out. They pull. wouldn't be able to because it would be inside of their body and they'd bleed out. And if they pulled it out, it'd be bad news. It'd be bad news. It's it's just it's a very effective. Uh, Let's so see that bad boy in action, man. Yes. But. Okay, so we gotta grease the rails. You always have to grease the rails and the strings or before you shoot them. If you when you shoot, it will create friction and it will. What will happen with that friction, Kane? The rails would snap. Boom! Snap, and that's bad news. And then the wild boar gets away and we're not eating. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so it's really pretty easy. It's got this caulking device right here. It's got there. a caulking device on there. You release it. You'll see with these other ones, guys, we have to caulk them with the quiver device. But this one has got a caulking device. Now, what are you going to be aiming for on those targets, bro? Maybe the pig or the head. Maybe the pig or the head? Yeah. Okay, let's say he's going to go for the pig. Got the, you're aiming for the guy in the back. You got him in a gut shot. Let's check this out. He doesn't lose. Like, ooh, 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 ooh. <laughs> Dude, that's still that's an accurate shot right there. That's really cool, man. Oh yeah, that's a brutal shot right there, bro. I'm gonna keep the camera on that pig right here. Okay. All right, here he goes with another shot. Oh my that, goodness, that's shot. a kill shot. It's a kill shot. Look at that. Dude, is that like right in the lung and heart? Yeah. Yes. Is that where you'd be going for if you were hunting? Oh, definitely. Tell me a little bit, tell me this, because you have some knowledge about hunting. If you were out there, I see a time that, you know, you never know, we may, the bullets might be gone, but I have a weapon like this and I need food, I need meat badly for my family. Well, <laughs> What is it? I mean, when you're out there hunting for a pig or for a deer, what do you? What is your mindset? Are you like hiding out? Are you tracking certain places? What do you do if you have to hunt? Well, so, we we got a cabin up in Three Rivers, and um, the deer walk right on the property. You got like seven acres, and uh, there's wild pig, there's wild turkey, there's quail. They come like right on the property, so you just sit up on the balcony uh -huh. there, and you could hit them. Is quail good? It's I've never something had to eat though. I if you mean, needed if you it had though, to eat it. Probably if you needed like to eat it, it would be there. It would have yeah. protein. Yeah. Yeah, so I would, that, I would, that would, I would How big is a quill? It's probably like the size of a pigeon. Okay. Yeah. And it would probably taste like chicken. Probably Tastes good. like chicken, boy. I would, I would definitely use this on a quill. Yeah. I wouldn't use the bigger. I wouldn't use this one on the quill. <laughs> Maybe a deer. So let me see you shoot that big one, dude. Okay. Okay, so. All right, let's check this out now, guys. He's got this. It's a 175 recurve bow. 175 pound pull recurve bow. Yes. And now to load that baby, you use that device that you call a quiver device? Cocking device. Cocking device. And you. Now you stepping on that little, through that little loop with your foot, keeping yeah. your weight on it? Keeping weight on it. Uh-huh. It has a quiver too that holds arrows for, um, well, I got hunting arrows on here. Yeah. With this type yeah. of. Uh, Brutal. Right, that, right there. It's like a shark tooth. The more the animal struggles, the tighter. The it worse is. it gets, I bet. But I, I won't use that for this application. I'm going to. That's what you would use if you were hunting. Only if I'm hunting. Like a bear. So this one has. <coughs> It has a um, scope on it, and um, you put your you put your hand right here to make sure that it's not on the in the area of the rail. You set up you set up your um, wow you your, man uh, your scoping. That was definitely a kill That's shot. That's a kill shot. 
That's definitely a kill shot right there. You see where those arrows hit is? Wow. So accurate. I think it's so yeah. accurate. This shoots more like a gun because it has a scope on it. Um, it's something like this right here, which doesn't have a scope. You basically have to utilize your... Okay, I'm going to do something real quick, Scott. It's, the, it's a 40 pound. It's a recurve ball. It's a... It's, um, you know, not as powerful as the um, crossbows. And you have to be really skilled to shoot these uh -huh. type of bows. So that takes animals. a lot more practice and work oh, yeah. to kill an animal with. You wouldn't so mess with that unless you knew what you were doing. Right, right. You probably wouldn't recommend it just a dude going out and trying to hunt with something like that. No, I wouldn't recommend it. And uh, as you can see, I got the guy in the head with the arrow. And, uh, that's definitely a so uh, Kane you know how to <laughs> yeah, yeah, all right let's check it out uh -huh. and Sorry, the, the, um, the arrows put it yeah. on our fingertips uh -huh. on the fingertip not right. the crook right. the, not that bending part the right there part on the fingertip I, I like to be able to uh -huh. release it really easy if, yep. it seems like if you do it right there it'll, 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 yep. it'll rub a little bit and it'll take away some of the power yep. whereas on the fingertips it just yeah and also, you always make this the white part. Always points towards you. You're doing really good, buddy. Oh my goodness! Wow, <laughs> man! Good <laughs> lord, dude! Good job. Hey, yeah, he's uh, Kane. I'm proud of you, man, what you're doing out here. Good job, dude. I love that you're into stuff like this, bro. And I love uh, Scotty for working with this kid and doing stuff oh, like this. Yeah. He's, he's so Super cool, man. You guys all right? You think I can take a, sh take a oh, shot at it? Definitely. definitely. Yeah. Which Heck one do you want to yeah, shoot? dude. I want to try that little one again. Okay. You got it. But I want to try that big one, too. You got it. We'll get you set up. All right. So there's an arrow in it. I did this the other day a couple times and I got a little lesson and man, I, um, I was impressed with how the accuracy of this and man, it was so cool being able to do it. So this is really cool. Now, give me a quick little lesson again of, of where you would like to hold and how you would like to place this in my... Okay, you place, place the butt strap right in the shoulder. You grab that butt grip right there. Yeah. You aim in at the iron sight. Make sure that this right here is in this little slot and then you just release the um, safety. You know what I'm going to do? The other day I had these glasses on. I think that was a mistake. Let me try it without these glasses. And then just press the, um, when you're ready to shoot, just press the safety forward. You push safety off. Yeah. Safety's off. Close to it though. I was aiming for that hanging head. Right. <laughs> what, what, Dang, what, I was close to Where was your shot? Hey, where did you put it at? Hey, 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 check it out from this view right here where you can see it. Yeah, just put it up a little bit higher. Go a little bit higher. You're okay. well, the problem is you're afraid of, of shooting it over, but there's there's, there's nothing stuff I'm gonna over. hit over though. There's nothing okay. gonna hit over that. So we'll let's let's try, try that again. again. And uh, you'll be successful. Just a little bit higher, maybe an inch higher. Okay. What'd you hit? Right underneath it, it was close. Right oh. Close. So you probably skimmed the chin. Woo! Nice. <laughs> what do you nice. get? I got him. <laughs> got him. That made all the difference. I just, I aimed it up about an inch higher. Yes. Or in, that way an inch higher. Not yes. right here. Right here, I just brought it up a quarter of an inch. Not even that. Barely brought it up a little bit, but that made all the difference right there. Yeah. Man, dude, that's so cool. This is awesome right here. Can I try that big one? Oh, you definitely could. T Swizzle's eating tonight. <laughs> <laughs> that's right, deers, watch out. <laughs> nah, I don't want to. Actually, I do want to hunt. I was going to say, I don't want to hunt a deer unless I have to, but I actually do want some deer meat. Oh, yeah. We got a lot yep. of property. And I believe God put those here for us. You know what I mean? I, I feel like he did. 
I want some I want some deer meat, man. Some organic deer meat. I want to go hunting too. I want to learn how to hunt and uh, and clean the animal and get it prepared. Okay, so we got you set up with a lighted knot. Okay. Oh. <laughs> a lighted knot. <coughs> what is it called? It's called a lighted knot. A lighted knot. Knot. Which it's means. On the door. Is it the recording knock still? Is the, yeah. The knock is the area where the string. Projector of the string. Uh -huh. goes in. So you can hold that. Make sure your fingers are down lower. Wait, put them right here. Okay. Right in there, yeah. And then it's the same thing. You got to push it off of safety. But as you can see, it's a scope set up. Uh huh. Oh wow. Can you see it? Oh wow. Okay. So, it's so this has got a scope on it. Now I'm going for that deer in nice. the back. I'm gonna go. I'm gonna. See if I can get a chest shot. Okay, so this is definitely different right here. Yes. The weight of it and the balance of it is definitely different. Yes. So this is way different. Yes. It's a minister of death. Oh my goodness. That's dead center, Tom. Man. What'd you get? I felt like I was getting, I couldn't get this to stop though. Right. That's got to sure. The breathing plus my glasses I think would be better with the scope. Right. My eyesight's really been getting bad this last year. Right. You don't have the, it works best for yeah, contacts? Yeah, I got it. Dude, Next time I want to try the big book. Okay. okay. So man, dude, this, that was awesome, man. That was so cool, dude. I Should appreciate you get a close-up of that. Yep, let's do that. Let's come up here with that bad boy. Let me see that. Here, I'll trade you. Yeah. Got it? Oh, yep, yeah. that's way different. All right, so only because of the lessons from good uh, people that are good at this stuff was I able to get these shots. I'm super happy, man. I was able to get some good. Wow, dude. Dead center. What'd you get? So I, I was aiming for that chest, and I got it. I got the chest. Kill shot. You got his heart. Man. Broke his sternum. <laughs> <laughs> it's a done deal. And the other shot I was going for is right here, guys. I was going for the black part of the face, but you see that little yellow part? That's the yes. The, what do you call the end of that arrow? Is there a name for that actually? It's just like the um, it, it's uh, just the end. Man, dude. A couple of good shots there. Well, dude. head went went through the other side so if you see how powerful it uh -huh. is whoa if it has the razor type uh-huh that are in the quiver it, it, it's a pass through so it just goes and it cuts everything and it passes right through brutal so brutal well scotty man dude i want to shake your hand and thank you so much for this scotty and kane and kane too uh, come here and give me a handshake my brother scott uh, before I leave, I would like you to show me your dehydrator again, if you can, the freeze dryer. Definitely. Yep. You guys want to see something cool? Here's something that's a good thing for anybody to have to prepare. Let's check. So right here in Scotty's garage, like I, one thing I like about Scotty and, and his wife, Bevy and Kane here is they like to prepare and get ready for things. When stuff hits the fan, they're ready to go. They got, like he said, they got four years of food set aside. And that saved up. Seven. So look at this baby right here. This so you got two machines going on right here. Yeah, this is a freeze dryer right here. The bottom one is a freeze dryer? Yeah, we pro we paid $3,500 for an Ace Hardware and Bakersfield. Uh -huh. And what's the idea behind that freeze dryer? How does it work? Well, you could preserve food for years, you know, 10 years, 15 years. We, we do chicken, like I said, we do eggs, we do tomatoes, we do apples, we do all the, the fruits, apricots, we do plums. You can pretty much do do anything with this um, this freeze dryer right here. It's, it freezes stuff to sub zero and um, takes all of the moisture out. Plus, it, it um, preserves the food. And this is a dehydrator, which works on heat. So you just put the stuff. It in works there. on heat. How hot does it get? Um, I'm not quite or how sure. hot does it need to be to dehydrate stuff? Um, is my there, wife is the one that uses, she's the one that knows all about that. She uses this. I'm, I'm the one that uses the, the freeze dryer. Yeah, next time I come when I get a chance, if Bevy's down, I would I would love to get a few words with Bevy.
Oh, definitely. Yeah, she's so cool, man, and man, dude. The just the, the knowledge both of you guys have about getting food and stuff ready, dude. I I so cool, man. Yeah, we got the battery backup. For the the battery house. backup for the solar power is that what that is? Yeah. A ba battery backup. Just, just in case so the the, the solar up. panels, do they charge that up? They charge it up. Now so that's not something. Some... That's not something that. Sorry to cut you off, but that's not something that uh, the average person when they buy solar and they get it on their roof, that doesn't come no. with. It. Right? That's something no, that you have to... You have to request it yourself to get the battery back up. But you're going to keep your power on indefinitely. As long as the sun is shining. We have, we have two inverters. One there, one there. I actually installed that one. Someone installed this one here. And then uh, we got a sub panel that, <coughs> that feeds the house. So cool, man. Dude, this has all been so awesome, Scotty. I really appreciate it, man. Really appreciate it. You got anything else that you guys would like to say before I shut this thing down? What do you Anybody think? you want to say hi to or anything like that? What do you think, Kane? Or if you have any advice for the world or anybody out there that might be listening that you want that you could give, well, I, or you could just say. I, I do have some advice. I would say if you <clears throat> if you prepare and you don't need this stuff, it's best to have the stuff and not need it, then need it and not have it. You know, we, we eat everything that we do preserve. I mean, my wife makes jams, Tom's bought some, we give some to family and friends and whatnot. So everything that we do preserve, we eat. It's not like we're stockpiling it and it's getting rancid or it's going bad. We do eat it all. So it's like putting money in the, in the bank, which is a food bank, right? And um, I would say that instead of having precious metal and gold and you know a bunch of paper dollars you invest in uh lead arrows and food preserve so that's food. yep that's very very smart dude i love to hear it kane thank you so much once again dude i really appreciate it i'll be back soon we'll and next time i come we'll get your mats out and, and then you can show me some of the stuff you've been learning in jiu-jitsu and maybe I can give you some uh, tips and secrets that I've learned throughout the time. When yeah? are you coming back? I'll be back soon because I am I was going to be going let me back soon. I'll be back soon because I really, if, if Scotty has me over, I'll be back. I've yeah, learned yeah. a lot and man, it's been a big uh, mental stress reliever for me because like I was talking about earlier and I'm I'm one of them. And, uh, this last year, man, I've been going, I, I came down with epilepsy. A lot of you people know and I have seizures. And man, like once a month, dude, I go through a, like about a week of just some serious uh, stress, anger, and depression and a mental state that I normally wouldn't have. Something like this, though, has been really, really cool for me. So I'll be back. I love you guys very much. I love everybody for watching Tom Owen Show. And man, if you guys can please like, share, and subscribe, I would appreciate it. Tom Owen's out.